Hello everyone, and welcome to the seventh Xcode Tips tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a nice brief overview of how to use code snippets in Xcode 4. So this series previously had Xcode 3 tutorials as well in it, but from here on out I'll be using Xcode 4 for anything else that I add to the series or a later version of Xcode whenever that comes. So anyway, the point of this tutorial is to show you how to use code snippets in Xcode 4 and this should be available for all versions of Xcode 4 that ran on Snow Leopard, Lion, and at this point Mountain Lion. So anyway with that to get to the code snippets library you just have to hit the utilities bar on the right there and at the bottom section you'll see that there are the curly braces right there and that will get you to your code snippet library. And you can scroll through this whole library of different things and you can see that there's tons of different uh, you know code snippets already available now you might be wondering what the heck is a code snippet well basically it's just a way that you can save this nice chunk of code for a later use so for example if I look at this do while statement I just clicked on it there and you can see that this is what the do while statement will give me and if I wanted to use this in my code, I could just drag this out and drop it in my project. And you can see that it's kind of uh, not, indent not indented correctly, but if I wanted to fix this, all I'd have to do is hit Control i and that would nicely re-indent it to what it should be. Now you can see it also gives you the nice tokens that you can, you know, kind of go through. So I can put something in there and then I can tab to the next one. So that's a nice, neat little thing about code snippets is that you can just nicely drag them out to your code. Now, another thing about code snippets is that you can have sort of text uh, expansions or completions for each one. So you can see they have under, if I just hit the do while, uh, code snippet here and hit edit, you can see the code completion or the completion shortcut for the do while. So the do while uh, text is basically going to expand into this whole statement right here. So if I just did do while, you can see that if I hit return, it would expand into that whole code snippet that's in my code snippet library. So if you ever want to know all the different code snippets that are available, you can just glance over into your code snippet library and just you know go through a bunch of them and there's some fairly useful ones uh, if you you know really want to glance at them there's you know the init method there to completely autofill the init method for you and there's a whole bunch of others that you can go through as well so with that um, the coolest part though about code snippets is that you can make your own so I made a little one that I've used in some of the tutorials and it's basically a quick NS log and if I drag this in you can see that it just gives me an NS log but uh, the cooler thing about this is that I also have uh, the NS log attached to a completion shortcut so when I hit or type out type log it will actually expand to this whole NS log thing that you see here so for example if I just say type log it will expand right to my NS log that will print out an object and then you can also see that I can even get tokens to be in the code snippet as well which means I can quickly tab through any of the tokens that I want in the NS log it's just a quicker way to kind of code through what you want so how do you create a code snippet? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the one I have here and delete that. And let's say I want to create my own NS log for my own use. So to do this, I can just type whatever text I want to eventually put in the code snippet, and then I can just later drag it into the code snippet library. So if I want to make an NS log, just to print out an object, let's say percent at sign, and then to get the nice little token, you just kind of create uh, this little syntax to create the tokens, which is the less than sign and then the number, and then you'll finish it off with another number and then the greater than or other sign. So basically, if I want, uh, let's just say I'll put some object, and then to finish it off, you just do the number sign again and with the closing uh, greater than or less than sign, whatever those are called. So when that's done, I can just end it like that, and that would finish off my NS log. So if I want to put this now into a code snippet, I can just uh, 
I can just leave it like this, drag this over into the code snippet library, and drop it in. And then you can see that at the bottom here, I get my code snippet. Now if I want to edit this, I can just select it, hit edit, and then I can change this to whatever I want. So I'll say nslog, and my code completion, I can change this to be type log if I want to have that nice text expansion. And you can see that right here, it has that nice little uh, code uh, token for me so that I can quickly jump to that some object placeholder. So I'll just hit done on that. And now if I want to use my type log command, I just have to hit type log. And as you can see, it'll expand to that code snippet and I just have to put in some object. And there we go. So that's all I have to do to use code snippets and I highly suggest you try it out for yourself. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature in Xcode 4. And um, just for the probably the most useful part is that you can add those nice uh, completion shortcuts with uh, just by typing whatever you want and you get uh, the whole code completion or code snippet. So anyway, uh, yeah, just try it out for yourself. And if you have any questions about it, just leave in the comments below, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, I will see you in an upcoming Coco or Objective-C tutorial. See you then.